I got this rather big box in yesterday. Fragilly. Shit McDonald. And it was for lots of brown paper. Lot lots and lots and lots of brown paper. To protect its precious cargo, which was this. I have some wood. I got some wood. A couple of maple net blanks. Look at the gorgeous look at look at the gorgeous grain on that one. It's beautiful like that. So a couple of necks, a couple of necks to me. Mahogany for guitar body. Nice thick piece of mahogany. That should do well. That should do fine. And then this big box as well. And some more brown paper. A couple of um fretboards, rosewood stuff, uh pre-radiused and slotted. Because that saves a lot of time and effort and a lot of guesswork on my part. Um if you're gonna get it done, get it done properly. They've got the tools to do it. Might as well get them to do it. So this this one on the right's got like a a lighter sort of green section on that side, which is quite nice, quite like that. This one's more even. Uh, yeah, quite nice, I like this. That's one, two necks. Gibson scale, so not what we're going to make. Enough fret wire to do about eight guitars in here. This is some cream plastic binding, so I can do some uh, fretboard binding and some body binding. Hopefully I'll have enough in there to do that. A whole bunch of um, Polishing compounds and finishing stuff, so I can do nice, nice, shiny, smooth, high gloss finishes. It's, uh, it's a neck support, so when I'm working on necks and doing stuff, I can put the necks on them and they're supported well instead of the way I've been doing it up to now, just like packing it in underneath it and hoping for the best. So I have a well supported neck when I'm doing fret work or doing sort of anything. So I thought that was a worthwhile investment. It's a lion! It's a lion! Lion. Uh, it's a it's a saw for cutting for cutting pearl inlays. Comes in parts. <laughs> Put the handle on. Um, got little fine blades for it as well. So we've got a cut and just get designs out of pearls to do some crazy inlays. Brown paper bag. You know it's good when it's coming in a brown paper bag. Um, stuff for side dots. That's those blades. Some needle files so that I can uh, shape nuts a bit better than I was before. It's a couple of bone nuts for the next. But these are genius. These are great, yeah, fantastic. I quite hope these work out quite well. These are uh, they're essentially razors, but they're sort of impregnated right the way through with um, abrasive material. So you get different, different grits of abrasion in all of these. And... Um, a thousand and four hundred so these are for uh, using on frets so you can get the frets all nice and shiny after you've done them so hopefully those will work quite well because can't be bothered wrapping around micro abrasive papers around bits of things and whatnot does seem worthwhile but these these are going to be good i hope they'll definitely last a little bit longer than the uh, the micro grip cloths i've been using so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to building stuff very shortly sorry for this very uninteresting video um, once I've got once I've got something done with these necks or the body, I'll, I'll get those up as well. Get a couple of building ones up, but those that's just my, my big box of wonder. Calling out.